All right, guys, today I'm going to rebuild the guts of my Pelican 1510. This is a very popular carry-on size travel case. I mean, it's a hard case. It's watertight, uh, automatically equalizes pressure. It's got some wheels here. It's got a handle um, to roll. So uh, this is a great case. It's probably going to last you a lifetime. But the insides of the Pelican typically come with pluck foam. Now, as you can see here, I've already plucked mine out. And the fact that uh, I plucked it out means I'll have to buy more pluck foam if I want to kind of customize it for something else. And um, even though pluck foam is, is very popular, there's actually some new padding that you can add to a lot of the Pelican cases, which is going to help you get more space, be more organized, and actually reorganize without having to buy more of this pluck foam stuff. So this is it right here. This is a Trek Pack. Um, kit and this one has been designed specifically for the Pelican 1510. They also have it for like a 1650, I think a 1620, pretty much all the Pelican cases, not so much the Nanook or the SKB or any of those cases, but pretty much for any Pelican you can find these kits. Um, there'll be a link below this video or check out my website at cheesycam.com for more information about this stuff. But anyways, um, I decided to just go ahead and rebuild this and I ordered this kit, the 1510 kit comes just under a uh, hundred dollars maybe ninety five dollars something like that all right anyways let's get to it so if you buy the 1510 without the foam you're gonna save some money so I suggest you buy it without the foam and then you buy the uh, Trek pack kit and then that'll let you kind of customize it as as you wish whenever you need to and I'll show you kind of how that works all right so um, as you can see, I've got my pluck foam here. This is the bottom part of my pluck foam. And then the Pelican does come with um, foam at the bottom here. So you're gonna use layers of foam just to protect your uh, equipment. This one is a little bit thinner and I'll show you the replacement that Trek Pack gives us. They give us one, almost looks exactly the same, but this one is a little bit thicker if you could see the difference. So this one, we're going to replace the stock Pelican one with the Trek Pack. Um, they also give you a top insert. Uh, I'm replacing my inserts, but if you have no foam with your Pelican, then obviously that's why they give you these replacement ones. So we will put the Trek Pack one in here. All right, so they'll give you a couple of sidewalls here. Now there's some cutouts. And what you want to do is you want to match that up with the um, inside of your case. This cutout right here specifically for the uh, rear wheel. No, I'm sorry. This cutout right here, this corner, is for the wheel. And then there's a little fold on this one right here. So we're going to fold this up. And we're just going to slide this in. And it's so easy because they give you kind of these uh, little markers or where to, where to fold the sides. Um, so this one... We fold this one up and again, we have a little cutout back here, which goes to the rear wheel. And it is, it is a perfect, perfect snug fit. There you go. So we've just completely lined our Pelican 1510 here with uh, some foam across the sidewalls. Now, I don't know if you could see, but there's some perforation around the edges of this foam, kind of like little slots. If you, if you look at these little perforations, what that does is allow you to put up kind of dividers using these little clips. And if you want to relocate your dividers or rearrange them, you just pull these little clips. So there are no Velcro here. Some of the inserts that you could get for these types of cases use a lot of Velcro. It's okay but it's kind of a pain to rearrange, a little noisy. And uh, I don't know about you, but I always get hangnails with those Velcro um, inserts. Anyways, let me show you how to use these clips here. So they'll, they'll pretty much give you a kit with uh, a bunch of little dividers. The thing that they don't show you is where to put the dividers. Obviously it's up to you, but you can only use them uh, in so many ways. So we're just gonna put a few in together and um, show you guys how this works. We have a very long one here. 
This one fits perfectly going in sideways. So I'm gonna just drop this in. You'll notice that I've dropped it in here. But let's say I wanna put a divider up here at the top. Maybe I'll use uh, a long divider. This, is a, this one doesn't fit all the way across. It's a little short, but we can put it up here. Now obviously this one here needs to move back a little more. So we're gonna move it back. just so it fits perfectly snug. So I don't know if you could see that. Now, I don't have to have this dead center. If uh, I wanna just make a smaller pocket, maybe I'll just put it up over here. And then maybe I, I wanna have a uh, smaller pocket at the top and then a larger one at the bottom. So if you think you're okay with how you have that set up, you've got these clips and they come with these little red tabs. The little red tabs are there so you can pull these clips back up easier. They do fall off, but once you have them clipped on, they, they won't come off. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna lock this in place by sliding it into one of the perforations. And obviously we wanna lock down our long one here off to the side. Drop that clip down there. I'm going to drop this clip over here. So as you can see, I've locked in all of the endpoints of my dividers. And I would just continue stacking these wherever I need them to go and just lock them down with these pins. Obviously, I'm going to put some of my gear in here and try to fit it as best as possible. But that way, you can really customize the inside of your 1510 or any of your Pelicans. Um, and then you can rework it if you're changing gear, changing camera setups. So this is really a great way to take advantage of these things because once you have the pluck foam pulled out, um, I found that I wasn't using my cases as much because I needed to reorganize and I couldn't do that with pluck foam. But now that I can reorganize everything with this type of dividing system, um, I'm gonna end up using these cases a whole lot more. So matter of fact, I bought a couple more Trek packs for my other Pelican cases and I'm gonna rebuild all of those because I think um, you know these cases are great for moving stuff around and really wanted to utilize them. All right, so here's my Pelican 1510. Just kind of a quick recap. Um, I don't know if I organized it well, but it's good enough for me. Uh, as you can see, I've got my Blackmagic 4K production camera here. I've got a couple of lenses, some random lenses here. Let me just throw that in. Um, my solid state hard drives for the Blackmagic. Drop it in over here. Got my huge battery pack. And this is the uh, distribution, power distribution. And then we've got a uh, charger that I can put over here. I actually have two chargers in here. So I'll put them both here. Or actually I have more room over here. So I still have some empty slots. I have a lot of room. I can drop in my, uh, my top handle actually over here. So. Um, Anyways, that just kind of gives you an idea how I'm able to utilize the space now. And if I wanted to take this case and reconfigure it for a different setup, if I'm traveling, I can do that. And I don't have to deal with Velcro. I don't have to deal with pluck foam. Um, and, you know, the padding, the organization system here, I think I'll just be able to use this case for years now in a, you know, in a more versatile fashion. Anyways, hopefully uh, that gives you a good idea about the Trek Pack system that helps you organize your Pelican cases. And once again, for more information, check out the uh, links below this video or on the website, cheesycam.com.